Tiger greedy 3 ds I think sometimes it's nice to go back to basics. The 3D printing game can be a really difficult, complicated, frustrating world, but we can create some absolute masterpieces with time, effort, work, and hours and hours and hours and hours of painting, printing, and doing all the things we do to create those creations. But let's remember why we started in 3D printing. Let's just take it back to when we first got into it. Now what I want to do today is just show you one simple model that I made which took me right back to when I first started. This was an FDM print that I made with no supports. I just put it on the printer, press print, came back to it two and a half days later and it had finished and this is it. This is the Cloud Dragon and I'll show you where I got this from. Now this is one of those fantastic prints that because it's even so intricate and detailed, it still needed no supports. I'm not going to make a long video of this, but I just want to try to bring us back to why we got into 3D printing and hopefully encourage some others who think that this game is far too complicated to get into the hobby as well. Stay tuned. Now this incredible supportless dragon can be found on Kunz 3D and I think I paid about just over three quid for it but worth every single penny so I popped it onto my Viper and uh, it got it going. Yes we've got some streaking issues on this Viper and uh, I'm going to do another video on that at some point in the future but it's printing clean leaf we just look past that little bit of stringing and that did come off really really easy post process but there we go it's done it's taken about two and a half days to print print but it's printed magnificently no supports no brim settings no rafts nothing just press print and away we went and it printed it and the quality is just amazing printed at normal quality and all that's left to do now is paint it so I've took some chaos back as a primer I've took a dry brush and I've took some silver and if you want to see how to do dry brushing I'll put a link to a video that I made in the description and this is the end result really really quick cheap and easy to get a fantastic result and i am chuffed to bits how this basic printed dragon has come out easy peasy to print easy peasy to prepare easy to paint really really chuffed back to basics it's nice to go there occasionally i hope you found that interesting today and I hope that took you back to when you first started in the hobby and I'd quite like to hear about your experience of when you first started. What was your first printer and what was your first print? Was it a Benchy or did you do something a little bit more extravagant? Because now if you're thinking of joining the hobby you can knock something like this out really really easy. Do not be afraid of our hobby. Do not let all these complicated painting videos and complicated builds in all sorts of different materials put you off. The hobby can be as simple as you want it to be and you can make some amazing, amazing things. Thanks for watching today, guys. Thank you to my Patreons. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. Hope you found it interesting and a little bit different to the norm. If you do like what you see on this channel, subscribe to the channel. You can buy your stuff from the uh, the item description. You can get all the stuff that's an Amazon affiliate link. As you know, you can join my Patreon if you want to. But most important thing to me is that you get involved. You leave me a comment that we all talk and we discuss what we think about this wonderful hobby we're in. And if you agree or not, whether sometimes keeping it simple is the best answer. See you next time. Mm -hmm.